Hi guys, welcome back to MK Sports Cars here. We're back in the workshop and we've got a couple of new things arrived. Firstly is this, it's the Cup 200 car. This is uh, built for a customer by Atomic Racing and RLM did the engine on this and if you've been following us you would have seen the Cup 200 race series with the 750 Motor Club. This is built to race in that. But the good thing about this one, it's also road legal. So be able to test it on the road and drive it to the track, do track days and also race it in the 750 Motor Club Championship, which is fantastic. And the even better news, the customer who's built this car is now going in a slightly different direction than what they're going to be doing. So this one is going up for sale. So if you want to boost a car and you're looking for something that you can use on track days, it's a perfect, perfect fit for that. But if you're looking to get into the Cup 200 Championship, this is where it all starts. Now let's start off with what it's all about really. So the Cup 200 car is very slightly different than what we do with the normal stuff in some of the uprights that we use and the, and the suspension system. It has a slightly different damper on it that we use. It's for the championship. And also under here, the engines are sealed. They're capped off at the, uh, make 205 horsepower basically, which is stock power. Um, but this one's a little bit unique. So Rich and his team up there, they've been working their magic on it. I'm going to pop the bonnet off here to show you that this is running so it's a, a fully rebuilt as well guys this is not you know some donor engine that's fallen out of a bike when they've crashed it completely reconditioned engine all done by RLM best in the business we know that and this has had a gen 3 throttle bodies on drive by wire so you, Rich and his team make these adapters goes drive by wire and you can see down here this is the linkage for it we'll remove that that's one here we made earlier I've been working on the car and uh, drive-by-wire down on here and this then also has a strain gauge so it has a flat shifter up and down and you know what these are like one finger to change gear absolutely brilliant it's got the strain gauge down in here tucked away and then that does full, full, full throttle up and full throttle down and blip everything else and I do believe because it's drive-by-wire you can do other things with this as well so awesome bit of kit, makes great power, makes a drivability. I've driven this car pulling away, it's just much, much smoother to pull away when you've got drive-by-wire. Very easy to get in and just drive. So some of the features on it, it's a sealed engine, we have a little tag down in here, this is wired up so you can't, if you get into it. It doesn't have any roll bars, we don't do that, we balance it all with the dampers and the spring rates that we use. It's got the new engine cradle mounts that we do. These are one piece here and then down, um, and the engine can come out really, really quickly for service and maintenance. Comes on, it's got the heavy duty prop shaft and we do the um, little prop shaft catcher in here as well. All the collapsible steering column all mounted. The cup nose cone, these all pop off really easy. So they've got a couple of clips at the side, which is what we had here. In fact, let's take it off and show you, shall we? Because I know you love this stuff. So under here, All nicely and done, it's the 70 mil radiator and the 34 row oil cooler and all the laser cut bracketry that holds it on. These are all the linkages that hold it on with our, these are our laser cut brackets and they're all nice, everything's modular and modular fitment and all the header tank nicely under here. You've got your header tank and your oil catch tank all nicely neat done, all the braided, braided sorry, branded even guys, branded hoses all done, nice and neat and tidy. It's got all our Bit it upright, bit it brake system on it, which is the Willwood four pots on the front. All of that's really, really smart. Into uh, into the cockpit area, you've got the FIA cage. Super trick, super sexy looking, makes it look going fast. And then when Rich builds these as well, um, when they make them road legal, these particular ones have all the um, wireless. So we've got the indicators and everything else. So we cancel them, put hazards on done and you've got fog light on here and lights and all the high beam all, even that all on the steering wheel it's pretty cool so yeah that's all nice neat and tidy pop that on there that works really really well it's nice neat compact got the paddy tunnel top in here because it's more of a road legal spec car as in nice and nice and there and you've got a little place for your phone and your keys for when you go racing and a Minimalist buttons and the really nice bit of kit is the AIM dash on there. They're really, really smart actually. Um, giving you all your information, what you need to know about the vehicle, what it's going on, temperatures, speed, gear, everything else. And you can change the different screen settings on those as well. 
And then when we move on, it's got the complemented wheels all round and nice. And on the rear end, I'll show you underneath here. It's still got some of the IVA stuff on this as well. Can sort of make it row. The rear end, really nicely done. Powder coated fuel tank, all our fuel pump system arrangement. It's got the fire extinguisher, 338 with an LSD in there, and it's all brand new rear end, billet rear end, and everything else on it as well. So, but completely road legal car. Able to race in the championship, in the Cup 200 championship in the 750 Motor Club and available today. So hook up a phone call, email, come and see us at the factory. This isn't registered yet, it's just getting registered now, so it'll be available and you'll be pretty much the first owner on this vehicle. Uh, we'll probably be registered under MK and then you'll be the first owner anyway on it as well. So yeah, if you want to know any more information, even more information that is about this car, hook up a phone call, email with Neil or Andy and they will go through the specs. Right here we are with Dax Rush, it's a booster turbo. We're cracking on with this. Um, looking at some plenum changes here that we're gonna maybe just look at to modify because we wanna get this, if we can, under the bonnet with a bonnet scoop. Josie's just tidying this up as well because some of the plumbing and routing was a bit bit questionable. The LED headlights are gonna go on this. This is already done. They're sort of putting the wiring plugs for them. They're sort of put in now. We get them uh, fixed up. We've spotted a couple of little things because we thought it's quite a heavy car. But it's not a heavy car. Uh, the brakes are stuck. <laughs> this one's stuck for sure, and then this one is free moving under it one hand, whereas this one is seized <laughs> for some reason. So we've got to look at that. Um, it's a couple of things. You think, gosh, this car's heavy. You know, they build these with some metal in it, but it was more to do with a brake bind in there. Um, so we've got to go through that. So looking at quite a little bit to go backwards to go forward on this car is lots of trimming modifications just to make it look tidy and tidy up the engine bay as i said we get these will be off next because these have all deteriorated <laughs> looking a bit worse for wear get some nice new ones on there to make it tidy and nice and we're just going through it while we've got stuff off making it clean it and detail it at the same time because it's coming off to check stuff you might as well prep it in quick quick bit of a uh, tidying at the same time it's Great car, we know it's fast. It's got a, it's a booster engine with a turbo. <laughs> Say no more. Right, it's uh, the little striker, classic sort of time really that uh, we've been pokering on with. Customers come in, we've had a bit of another catch up meeting with him, cracking on again. Getting very close now to the finishing line of this car. It's all gone back together. Dashboard's in, scuttle's back on, centre mirror on. These are on, he has got some nice race mirrors if we mounted them, but we're going to precautionary we're going to put these on for IVA because they're small race mirrors they're questionable for size and it does fit in the same hole so we just put these on as temporary and we've got some nice F1 style mirrors uh, exhaust system's all done and the car is actually running now and we'll show you that in a second bonnet we've put back on nose cone back on all alignment done and buttoning up under the engine bay nearly there nice new boot cover put on it um, this is all tied in we've got the sort of it's got this carbon effect vinyl here in the in the seat as well so we sort of after speaking to him tied that in with a boot cover looks really smart nice and neat and tidy actually uh, just completely ties that up and now as you access getting into there if you want to fiddle around with things underneath seats are in all the uh, four point harnesses back in now and they all sort of tie into the theme and then uh, well, I suppose see if she runs shall we that sound? Sweet as a nut. Gotta love a little bit of carb induction noise haven't you? That actually sounds... Look. Sweet. That's looking really really good. Just got a couple of bits, gear lever, knob to go on and the central thing on there fixing it. But all fitted up, immobilizers all on it now and everything else so she's all trick and we're starting to button this car up and Getting ready to sort of get ready to road test and everything else. So it's on the ground, geo's all done, and it's silly little things like trimming up now, trimming up around the headlights here, trimming up even these little louvers that fell, a little bit of U trim on these, uh, making sure it's all the little holes where the suspension comes through, all the headlight brackets. It's all the little little fiddly bits now, though, but she's looking, looking like a car of a purpose now, looking really, really good. Engine sounds amazing, oil pressure's great. Water temperatures run it up, everything's working, fans all kicking in nicely, and uh, yeah, just got to sort out the emissions and go through those side of things. But yeah, really getting there, looking sharper and smarter every time we bolt something on this car. Right, next up was the uh, Duratec car we spoke about about a week or so ago now, where we was going to be converting from this, the Aero screen. Oh, 
This is one made, uh, made earlier, so to speak. This aero screen, little carbon one, which still will bolt back on because it uses the same hole. So you've got the little carbon fibre aero screen there taken off and put on the windscreen here. So if you've got this type of case, the windscreen fits on no problem, as you can see. No doors, I'm afraid, though. But, you know, you could run some side deflectors, I suppose, if you wanted to. But windscreen, we've got the wipers in, got the washer jet under there, all in. And then under the bonnet, I'll show you where the bottle had to be mounted on this one. I think we showed you the other week um, where it went. So the windscreen washer bottle just tucked in the middle here for serviceability and in there's a little one-way valve to stop it sort of flowing out so yeah it looks really really sharp actually very different it's going to be great for Russell with his uh, obviously he's going to be taking his kids out it's just a bit more practical having a screen sometimes than the aero screen I love an aero screen I'm not going to lie I am an aero screen fan um, but I see the sensibility behind a windscreen gives you a little bit more protection especially if you've got younger people or maybe your wife or your partner <laughs> sitting in the passenger seat there it makes a big difference especially when you've got 250 horsepower strapped to it right guys i'm armed with my trusty tea with no sugar builder's tea and it's questions with sean time so fire away lewis what we got this week right the first question came in from the benz guy 03 over on instagram and it says if you were to import a kit to the us would it be easier to import it as a pre-built or as a kit Right, well the easiest way actually now is because we've actually been and worked with and appointed a USA dealer. So James at nksportscarsusa.com, is that correct? Yes. Yes, we've put it up on the screen now, it's all very new, but realistically hook up James there, give him a phone call, email, and he'll be able to fill you in the details on what you're looking for to build out there. And there's a few already out there, he's got five or six actually going to be going out to there very shortly, so you may be able to jump the queue. Seven actually, I'm getting a sign, a sign, oh, from behind there, seven cars are going to be going out, so you may be able to jump the queue and get yourself in there already, so that's mksportscarsusa.com, see James and he'll be able to hook you up there guys. Right, the next question that came in was, when will your cars be street legal in European countries? Right, something we're working on, Neil is working on in the background and is trying to get what's called a COC, Certificate of Conformity. We are working hard to do that, we know you guys. So we've got the USA kind of li getting licked now, James is sorting out and then the European guys are next. And we can't wait to get that on forward, so just bear with us a little bit longer and we will get that resolved. Right, the third and final question which came in was, do you have a price list? Do we have a price list? Of course we do, guys. The only thing is another thing. It's a little bit of a stall at the moment, but April is around the corner and the Lou Nanu website will be launched and that's got some information on it. But in the meantime, basically fire in a messenger or an email here or hook us up in a phone call and Neil or Andy, the sales team, can go through that with you and send you out the information pack. But roll on April, things will be changing very soon. Right, that's it for questions with Sean. If you've got any more, then throw them into us. Uh, Lewis and the team will get hold of them, find them about, or put them in the comments below, and we'll happily help you out. Don't forget about the shows that are coming up here. We've gone the April the 23rd. We are at the NEC. Sorry, not April. March the 23rd. We're at the NEC. At the show there is the Practical Classics Restoration Car Show. So we'll be there with our Turbo. MX, RX5, MX5 in your 330 horsepower and once that, if you want to see that little thing, come and have a seat, touch, feel, chat with the team, be looking forward to seeing you there. Also, don't forget the final thing, first open day, April 6th guys, on the Saturday, first time to get your car out, get the polishing mags out, bring it over here, we'd love to see it. That's it for this week guys, don't forget to like, share, subscribe and we will catch you next week.